Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to wish you all a happy advent. Happy 1st of December. I'm going to be colouring or looking through empty pages in my old sketchbook that need colouring or filling in. So I absolutely love And today is the very first day of Advent. I'm going to colour this first page with probably these colour pep colour pencils by Maypet. I was having a go, this is a homemade sketchbook as I've said, and I was having a go at doing um, characters, faces and full page faces, if you see what I mean. <laughs> I think here, yes, you can see that all of the page is the, the face. So we'll just go through. I tend to use a homemade sketchbook um, for initial ideas before I use a paid for sketchbook. It just makes me feel better that I'm not ruining a perfectly good sketchbook that is professional. So all your decorations are up, are they everybody? Ours are. The, and we have an advent calendar, a family advent calendar that I made five years ago. We all get to enjoy that. We were always disappointed with the commercial advent calendars, even as children, because you pay so much for the packaging and then the chocolate inside is, well, you know, we're probably just very picky, but I just like that your heart goes into making things and so having an advent calendar that you can keep I think and you can also put whatever you like in it within reason because ours are small boxes and so you have to find it's usually a challenge every year to try and find what fits in the box <laughs> and uh, it's usually quite a nightmare to be quite honest, but this year has been the most easiest because we use the, um, don't know what you call them, but kind of, we call them squares of chocolate that are individually wrapped. And so that's made it a lot easier. <laughs> and it's something small and it's something nice that you have every day. Have you guys got advent calendars? Do you still use them? I mean, I don't think you're ever too old for an advent calendar. I really don't. <laughs> I think even when I'm maybe 140, I will always have an advent calendar. Probably will have to be handed to me because I won't be able to reach it. But <laughs> I will always use one. your old sketchbooks. I tend to now because I was thinking sometimes like when I'm done with a sketchbook I kind of get bored sometimes and I'll put it to one side and move on to a new sketchbook but then I'm thinking it's good to always go back to an old sketchbook and really try and finish it off and cover the whole page if possible because there's always more that you can do to a drawing. It's never really quite finished I think a sketchbook page anyway. 
like we find with this. It wasn't coloured, and now we can do more to it. We can do the background, we can do the face, the top, everything. And please excuse my cat in the background. I don't um, do like complicated layering and all of that, as you can see, I'm just literally just colouring. <laughs> Most of the time I don't like to consider myself an artist, I just say I'm a creative type. <laughs> Because I just feel inverted commas artists are given a bad name. Oh, I don't want to belong to that category. <laughs> because it's the category of the unkept beds or pickled things and bricks <laughs> that I just don't want to be connected to. I know that it's probably everybody's thinking I'm you know, odd or something, but I just, I, I'm just not part of the modern art scene, I suppose. I prefer the traditional, um, you know, like Vincent van Gogh and Leonardo da Vinci. The, they really did have to use what they had at the time. And that was the paint, they painted. They didn't use a brick, you know, in a gallery of an empty space and use psychology. <laughs> it was paint and it was a canvas and they created the picture. And that's what I would say art is. It's creating with paint or pencils or art supplies. <laughs> but I, I don't, I, for me, I just don't like the psychology being brought into art. Uh, and the colour things, of how were they feeling, and <laughs> everything like that. I just think, you know, well, you know, psychologists are psychologists, but I wish that they would stay away from the art scene. <laughs> oh, I think my leg is broken now. I love it on the packs of pencils when they say, um, pencil leads don't break easily. <laughs> in the back of pencils, strong legs, and you put it in a pencil sharpener and they break instantly. And that then means that the rest of the pencil inside the lead here is probably snapped in transit or something. just it's your sketchbook remember so you can do what you like how you like and it's just about relaxing having fun and doing what you like question of the day what is your favorite Christmas movie Oh, I love Christmas movies. I really, really do. The family-friendly ones, obviously. Full of magic. And I love magic. And lights. And oh, all of that kind of good stuff. I know everybody loves Home Alone. Who doesn't? <laughs> but for me, I love Single Santa Seeks Mrs. Claus. With Steve Guttenberg. It's like my favourite Christmas movie. And then of course we've got The Muppet Christmas Carol and the Santa Claus movie from the 80s with Dudley Moore. It's so magical for Christmas Eve. Um, 
then obviously Home Alone 1, 2 and 3. I don't like the others, but 1, 2 and 3 were very good. Um, the Grinch with Jim Carrey, obviously. I love all of that. Um, what else do? Oh my goodness, there's loads. Of course, Elf with Will Ferrell. Elf is just wonderful. It, it kind of sums me up at Christmas. I, I make every uh, direct, uh, decorations from everything. <laughs> it's like, keep away from me because you'll get decorated if not. <laughs> I'd love to know your favourite Christmas movies. So I hope you'll leave them in the comments below. these make it colour packs and we are finished thanks for watching guys and have a happy advent and I'll catch you next time bye